I wanted to talk a little bit about commercial real estate transactions, um, which is my primary area of expertise. Um, the first thing that I, I think is important is the structure of the transaction. You need, you need a contract. Um, and there's so many different types of commercial real estate that you need a contract um, that specifically addresses um, all of the due diligence and other uh, issues related to that specific type of real estate uh, and a contract that, that documents your specific agreement either as the seller with the buyer or as the buyer with the seller. Um, there are forms out there just like there are forms for residential uh, real estate transactions, but uh, you run the risk if you use a form and rely on a form that it's not going to cover, you know, a specific issue or a specific need or an, a specific negotiated agreement that you have, you know, with the um, with the other party. It's a little different from residential transactions in that a residential, you know, one house. And that's what I'm talking about when I say residential transaction. Um, is it's it's one type of real estate, and it's you know the transactions are very similar, um, and so you have forms that uh, are easier to sort of um, squit, squ you know, squeeze the the deal terms that you have within the parameters of that form. So um, in that commercial real estate transaction. Uh, or I mean contract, um, you know, you need to have it sort of contoured to the type of property that is the subject of the transaction and the specific deal terms. Um, I, you know, I, there are people that um, can prepare those contracts that aren't necessarily attorneys. Um, I, uh, I, I say you do that at your own risk. So if you're going to have someone else prepare the contract that is a, as a non-attorney, um, you know, make sure that they're qualified and experienced. There are a lot of issues that um, you don't know need to be in a contract unless you've had the experience. Uh, there are, I could think of a dozen issues that go into a, a shopping center transaction contract that I wouldn't have been aware of um, when I first started practicing law uh, without having done shopping center transactions. You don't learn it in law school. You, know, you just have to, to learn it sort of on the job. So um, getting a good and, a, and an enforceable contract, you want to make sure it's, it's enforceable um, in the event there's any kind of dispute. So um, step one is, is or one of the first steps anyway. And what I do with clients is getting that contract in place, make it a, a, a clear, well-understood, uh, well-drafted, enforceable contract.